What's good, YouTube? It's your boy KB with Just Do Boxing back with another video. And so, man, today we got an interesting topic, man. We're talking about that boy Jerron Buzenis and Speedy Rashidi Ellis. Now, recently, you know, Speedy Rashidi Ellis came out and said how he would be willing to face Boots Ennis. You know, he, in fact, I, I believe he said he would even knock him out. You know, so that had the boxing world buzzing for a bit, had everybody talking, you know, had a lot of people, um, you know, asking what's up with Boots and why he didn't respond to Speedy Rashidi Ellis' alleged call out. And, you know, I, for one, I felt like he didn't respond simply because Speedy Rashidi wasn't in their plans. You get what I'm saying? I think, you know, a guy in Boots' position, he's 29 and over 27 KOs, man. He's trying to fight the absolute best he's he's you know a fight or two away from a title shot if we're being honest and i think you know fighting speedy rashidi although it would be a one hell of a fight in my honest opinion i just don't see it being beneficial in terms of what what boots is trying to accomplish and like i said that would be kind of like stay, taking a step back and i'm gonna play a clip you know, from Bozy Ennis and salute to YSM Sports Media for um, interviewing Bozy Ennis, as he always do, putting out great work. I'm going to let y'all hear what Bozy Ennis had to say about it. And it's very interesting. And he pretty much said Speedy Rashidi didn't want to fight. They turned the fight down. So I know that's going to surprise a lot of people. But nonetheless, the truth is the truth. You know, um, we've heard this time and time before when it comes to Boots Ennis fighters turning down fights with this kid and just simply not wanting to fight him. I mean, he's just a nightmare in the ring. Like I said, at 29 and no, 27 KOs, only 25 years old. He's 5'10", 74 inch reach, very tall, very long for the weight class. He's a switch hitter. I mean, his last fight was May 14th against Castillo Clayton, who was 19-0-1 with 12 KOs. We all know how that ended in the early second round KO. It was an easy KO win for Boots and it's because he was just on a completely different level than, than Castillo Clayton. And make no mistake about it you know going up against speedy rashidi ellis would definitely be a way more competitive fight in my honest opinion you know rashidi ellis himself is 24 and 0 with 15 ko's he's 29 years of age 5'9 with a 72 inch reach so you know boots got a little bit of a reach and height advantage on him and last time ellis was in the ring was july 9th you know against jose marufo who was 13, 10, and 2. So it was really a showcase fight for Speedy Rashidi because he'd been inactive for so long. He ended up getting a first round knockout and knocking the guy down twice. You know, easy win, easy win, easy showcase fight, kind of a get back fight. Like I said, he'd been on the shelf for so long. He left Golden Boy and signed with the PBC. And since 2020, he's only, you know, he's only had one fight. You know what I'm saying? And inactivity has been a big issue with speedy rashidi you know what i'm saying and um the only fight he had excuse me the only fight he had in 2020 was a, a unanimous decision went over alexis rocha you know the last time he fought more than once in a year was back in 2018 where he where he had three fights you know since then it's been one fight a year which could end up being a real big problem against um going up against a fighter like boots ennis i don't think it would be wise for him to face boots ennis off such a, a you know a long layoff of being inactive you know this this first round knockout is not going to do it i think speedy rashidi would need a couple fights to get back in the swing of things before he would think about seriously challenging jerron boots ennis who's a lot more active been a lot more busy obviously and like i said it's just maybe a fight or two away from a, a title shot and right now i just don't see speedy rashidi being in their plans but Nonetheless, I'm going to let y'all uh, hear what Bozy Ennis had to say. I'm going to get my final thoughts, and we're going to wrap it up. What's good, Ms. Bozy? Same old, same old. Yeah, same procedure, man. Just getting to work in. Got these guys working hard. Getting a couple of them ready, getting ready for fights. Who got fights coming up? Uh, uh, Carlos. Uh, Ty. Boots. What? January. We don't have a uh, Pacific date right now, but uh, it's locked in for January. Now, have you already started camp? But just started, just started. But you know he stays in the gym anyway, so he's always in camp. You want to say that? Uh, like, yeah, 
you you've had like a thousand camps like how does this start off do you start off like you know, completely turned up or it's like a slow walk into like a peak when we first started we just come in we do what we've been doing regular every time you come in here, what you see us doing we, we do it uh, when we start the camp same thing nothing changed we do the same thing you know what i mean start boxing we monday wednesdays and fridays you know what i mean Tuesdays and Thursdays work may work on defense or might do some uh, other uh, self bag work. You know I me. Mean? You know, you know, normal procedure. You know I me. Mean? You now everybody's speculating. I guess who your opponent is going to be. Mm -hmm. Some people says it's Stanley Onis. Some people have said it's Rashidi Ellis. Mm -hmm. um, what's the status on those two fights? Well, I mean, I think they're still working, but uh, Rashid Ellis never was in the picture when it came to us. And they know, uh, I just got the word that they, they don't want to fight us anyway. You know what I mean? You know? And I heard uh, somebody offer them um, double the money, the fight boots. I heard they didn't want to fight boots. But we not looking at uh, Rashid Ellis. He's, what, ranked number 10, 14? No, we, we looking for the guys in the top five on down. You know what I mean? We're not we're not trying to go back, you know what I mean? So uh 10, 14 or or you no know, even nine or none, none of them guys, man. We want the top five because we're close to the title, man. Why would we go backwards? Now, in interviews, Rashidi said he would fight you, but you know, when offered, turned it down. You heard about it. Yeah. You already heard about the yeah. turn down. You know what I mean? But if, like I said, we not even looking at Rashidi there yeah, was a uh, None of them Blair Combs or none of them guys, man. Rashida Yo was a good fighter though. Can't take nothing away from me though. But he's not on he's not in, in our future right now. We we trying to get them titles. Get them guys that got the belts. You know what I mean? Whoever got the belts, that's what we want. You know what I mean? If we don't get them, we get the, the next one in line. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, this is how the normal process goes when So there y'all got it. So there y'all heard it directly from the horse's mouth, Bozy Ennis himself. He said Rashidi Ellis was offered the fight. He turned it down. He said he was even offered double the money to fight Boots. And he also didn't want to fight him. He also turned it down. So there you go. There go the people. There go y'all answer for the people that wanted to know if Boots was going to respond to Speedy Rashidi Ellis. Now y'all know the truth. And I, I never took Bozy to be anything but a truthful individual. And I don't think it's no different in this situation. Speedy Rashidi turned the fight down and if he did it, you know, which I believe is true, I don't think he did it out of fear. I think he did it just simply knowing that he got to get back acclimated to the sport. You know, he's been inactive for far too long and just having one fight per year since 2018 is not going to cut it, especially when you're going up against the, the, the one of the top, top prospects slash contenders in Jerron Boots Ennis. It just wouldn't be smart to face him off long stretch at inactivity or, or coming off a real early first round knockout that just wouldn't be smart so y'all get in the comment section let me know what y'all think let me know what y'all think about R speedy rashidi turning down the fight and who do y'all have winning if this fight is made in the future speedy rashidi ellis or jerron boots ennis and as always get in the comment section and let me know if i gave boots ennis and speedy rashidi their just do because that's what i do over here just do boxing to the next one i'm out peace